give yourself up two weeks ago, couldn't understand the goddamn thing you were saying. Shit. I started to rush that motherfucker hooked on phonics. What the fuck are you doing? Then George Bush started shit, want to start another fucking war, and we ain't found the first motherfucker yet. I'm like, they can't never find Bin Laden, but every time I see his ass, he on CNN. Ain't that a bitch? We don't know where he at. He right there on Channel 12, motherfucker. He right there. He got more videos out than Tupac, don't he? I'm like, God damn. I don't know what the fuck is going on. You ever go to the airport since September 11th and the motherfucker's checking you look like the very motherfuckers you need to be checking your... <laughs> let me see your ID, motherfucker. Let me see your ID. Fuck that shit. You look like one of them sons of bitches on that list. Fuck you. Shit. I was on the plane to kick the dude from the Middle East right off the plane. I thought, man, I'm a black man. That's racial profiling. But I sure hit the button on his ass. Bling! Somebody need to get back there and check out Muhammad back there. Fuck that shit. He was... He was crying and praying, and that ain't good. Fuck you. Because I don't know about y'all, but I don't trust a motherfucker wear clothes you can't find at the mall. They don't, they don't sell that shit at the Gap. Who the fuck is this? That shit happened on American and United Airlines. It never would happen on Southwest Airlines. Fuck that shit. All them black people with $27 tickets to Detroit? I ain't got the knife, motherfucker. I got a knife. Black folk would have landed that fucking plane. <laughs> We'd have been in there giving interviews. I done save all the hostages. Somebody talk to the governor, see if he'll take one of them felonies off my record. Here, I'm, I'm trying to get my credit straight. I can't be fucking around like this. With... You ever seen Afghanistan on the news? That's a raggedy motherfucker. I don't even know what we dropping bombs on. The bombs we dropping cost more than the shit is hitting. Ain't that a bitch? A million dollar bomb to blow up a three dollar ten. Fuck you, shit. You could take over Afghanistan with a stick. This my shit now. Nah, nah. Them motherfuckers don't even know we bombed them. We were bombed last night. How do you know? That rock was over there yesterday, wasn't it? I don't know, man. Since September 11th, the country getting along like never before. Because, you know, black folk and white folk, we done had our problems. But we be damned if somebody new gonna come in. Fuck that shit. These is our white folk. Y'all leave them alone now. Fuck you. Shit. It's good for black folk because they finally got somebody they hate more than us. I'm so happy about that shit. They the new niggas now. I be, I be telling them, nigga, one right there. He trying to get away. They call them motherfuckers cowards. They ain't cowards because they'll die for what the fuck they believe in. They may be crazy in the motherfucker, but they ain't cowards. They put their belief ahead of their life. Here we believe, but not that goddamn much. Fuck you. If you're going to a church where they're telling you got to kill yourself, you're going to the wrong motherfucker. Look, I'm going to run down here to Mount Calvary, see what they talking about. Fuck this bullshit. I... Give me my $10 back. It's a building fund. Not a blow up the building fund. You must be out your fucking mind. I ain't gonna lie, I don't like George Bush. I think he the worst fucking president we done ever had, but that's my goddamn opinion. Starting another fucking war. That war is about oil, gas. I don't give a fuck what nobody's saying. And it ain't about no, it, it, you can say what you want to say. It ain't gonna be no Bushes, Cheneys, and Piles dying over there. It's gonna be Washington, Smiths, and Williams over there dying. That's what the fuck it is. Goddamn war is about gas. It's gonna be motherfuckers over there fighting for gas. Don't even got a car. Got to take a bus to the war. What time to five get here? I'm... I'm gonna fuck around and be late for the battle. I bet you wars wouldn't start if the motherfucker that started the shit had to actually go to the goddamn fight. I bet you that shit wouldn't happen then. Hey, Georgia, Saddam said he's gonna meet you on the battlefield at 3 o'clock. I, I, I can't go. I'm the president. Shit. Dick, you go. I can't go. My chest hurt. Fuck that shit. I, I gotta take an EKG tomorrow. I can't be fucking around. How did that motherfucker pass the physical? <laughs> Every time you turn around, he's having a heart attack. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Lord, is it hot to you? I'm hot. I am sweltering. Aren't you sweltering? He the worst fucking president we done ever had. Bill Clinton was my favorite goddamn president. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. And they, they blame everything on Bill Clinton. September 11th happened because he wasn't doing his job. No, September 11th happened because the FBI was too busy investigating who he was fucking instead of worrying about who was getting ready to fuck over us. That's the fuck happened. Because when you think about it, you know everything about Monica Lewinsky, not a damn thing about Bin Laden. Ain't that a bitch? Spent $59 million to find out he like pussy. Ain't that a motherfucker? Shit, I, I could have told you that for $5. Bill fucking, y'all know that. Bill fucking in that room. He, he the closest to a black president we gonna ever get. I don't say that because he played a horn. I say that because he got impeached. That mean fired. And came back to work the next day like, what shit wrong, didn't he? That's some black folk shit for you. Hey, man, you're fired. I bet I'll be to work tomorrow. I bet I'll be to work tomorrow. I bet y'all better have my goddamn check, too. Shit. I'm going to impeach my foot up somebody's ass. Don't play with my money like that. 
I knew it was going to be a rough ass year because them Chinese people took our spy plane and George Bush got on TV. Don't worry about the crew, they're not hostages, they're detainees. I ain't never been to college, but I've been to jail and I know when you detain, you just can't come right home. That's all the fuck I'm saying. Them Chinese people can't be hard to negotiate with. You ever try to get an extra pack of soy sauce out of one of them motherfuckers? That's a negotiation for your ass, eh? Starting all this bullshit across the world. Now Pakistan and India about to go to nuclear war. The two fucking hungriest countries in the goddamn world. They ain't got no money for meals, but they got bombs for everything. Ain't they? Who gonna have the strength to mash the goddamn button? Kill them. I would, Sahib, but I am so hungry. I am so hungry. I know the cow is sacred, but I would like a happy meal. I am so hungry. Please, Sahib, I am hungry. I know y'all think that's racist, it ain't, goddammit, it's American. It ain't nothing more American than racism, goddammit. Baseball, hot dogs, and slipping in the word nigga every now and then. That's the America I know. Fuck that shit. I don't like George Bush, but if you want some shit blew up, that's the motherfucker for it. He gave everybody the death penalty, and he's the governor of Texas. Gave a woman the death penalty, she's a born-again Christian. But, but I know Jesus! Well, bitch, tell him we said hi, here. Yeah? You gonna be talking to the Lord soon as this shot take hold. You think about it, all the bullshit happened down in Florida. Four dudes from the Middle East go down to Florida to learn how to fly. Don't nobody want to learn how to land or take off. And that ain't suspicious to no goddamn body. We would like to learn how to fly. You gonna need to learn how to land. We don't need to learn how to land. <laughs> Fuck them, man. Before September 11th happened, we was worried about some different shit, like white folk was down in Florida getting ate up by sharks, which I don't understand, because black people won't even get in the water at a pool party. Fuck that shit. Don't, don't splash that shit on me, punk. That's water. What the fuck wrong with you? Shit. White folk gonna get in the water. They don't give a fuck what's going on. Could be a sign to say shark. Don't worry about the shark. It's more afraid of you than you are of it. Who told y'all some bullshit like that? One motherfucker got in the water, shark bit his leg off. This motherfucker... Bit his nephew leg off. He jumped in the water, killed the shark, sold the leg back on. White folk, y'all some bad motherfuckers. I'm not going through all that bullshit for my nephew. Fuck you. I'd have been on the phone with my brother. Something bad didn't happen down here. Need to get down here and see about your son. It's fucked up down here. Shit. I got three kids. I love them all. If a man get one of my kids, I'm going all out. But if a shark get one of my kids, that's pretty much God's will right there. Shit. I, I can't do nothing for you, son. Shit. <laughs> he more afraid of you than you are of him, shit. Everything happened down in Florida, like that election shit. Now, I don't know a lot, I got a GED, but when your brother happened to be the governor of the state, you just happened to need to become president? I can't say subliminal, but I can damn so say suspicious, I bet you that. That Elian Gonzalez shit happened down there, that little Cuban fucker. I was with the little bastard at first, but that shit went on too goddamn long. I thought the little fucker had his own TV show. That shit ran longer than Roots, didn't it? I'm like... I ain't never been to Cuba, but I'm assume it's a pretty fucked up place. You'll try to float over here on a bike tire, that's all I know, shit. No fucker lucky, wasn't no Firestone tire, honey. <laughs> That'd have been a short trip. Aye! Aye! I got tired of seeing Janet Reno ugly ass on TV. That's an ugly motherfucker there, ain't it? I thought it was Nick Nolte, didn't you? I'm like, why is the dude from 48 hours fucking with that little boy? I don't like Republicans. I ain't never seen one I would vote for. I damn near voted for Bob Dole till he fell off that goddamn stage. <laughs> How you gonna balance the budget? You can't balance your goddamn self. Sit your old ass down before you be done bumped your fucking head, you son of a bitch. Lay down. All this shit going on in the world, they fucking around. We got all this shit going in, Ron, and WorldCom stealing from every goddamn body. Nobody going to jail. Ain't that a bitch? Any black man in here, you rob a bank, you can get $3.50, you're going to spend the rest of your fucking life in jail. And they fucking with Martha Stewart like she the worst one. Ain't that a bitch? I thought they fucking with her so bad, I thought she was black. I'm like, goddamn. What the fuck you cooking in the kitchen? Crack? What the fuck I want to... These Catholic priests molesting all these kids. Let me tell you something, when you molest a, a child, you are no longer a priest, you're just a dirty motherfucker. I don't give a fuck what you say to me. And you need to take your ass to jail. You're a priest, you're supposed to guide the flock, not fuck the flock, you sons of bitches. I'm tired of that shit. Some of the victims get on my goddamn nerves. I was molested till I was 37. <laughs> nah, motherfucker, you just like dick. That's your goddamn problem. What the fuck you, 37 years old, letting somebody fondle your ass, you soft son of a bitch. 
tired of that shit. This woman down in Houston gonna kill all five of her kids and she didn't get the death penalty. That bitch don't get the death penalty. Nobody deserved the fucking death penalty. I had postpartum blues. Well, bitch, take a nap, shit. You think you're the first motherfucker with kids got on their goddamn nerves? My mama used to say she's gonna kill us every day, but she didn't. She took a nap. Well, if I don't lay down, I'm killed when you little sons of bitches. I swear to God. If I wake up and this motherfucker ain't clean, y'all gonna be some dead motherfuckers in here. Got me cussing like this. No, I'm saved too. Shit. Boy, you cost me a trip to heaven. I will fuck you up. I swear to God. I'm sorry, Jesus, but you know how this motherfucker is. It ain't just white folk. Black folk doing their share of simple shit too. Like this motherfucker down here in Georgia got the crematorium, but ain't burn up one motherfucker. Just, just chucking bodies in the woods. There you go. Talk about he can't burn nobody up because his pilot light was out. Ain't that a bitch? Well, get you a George Foreman grill and fry some of these motherfuckers up. Shit. Set it and forget it, goddammit. Tired of that shit. Every time I turn around, some little child getting kidnapped and they fucking with the Amber Alert. Fuck the Amber Alert. Teach these kids how to cuss. That'll stop them from getting kidnapped. You don't believe me? You walk along in the mall, hear some little kid shout out, I don't know this motherfucker. Everybody in here turn around then, huh? I, I don't believe he know that man. They don't never kidnap no black kid. They kidnap that little black girl in Philadelphia. This little hooker hook chewed through the tape, didn't he? I'm going home to my mama. I don't know this motherfucker right here. That ain't my daddy. You know what killed me? They get, they get their kids kidnapped in the middle of the night from the fucking house and don't nobody hear shit. Who the fuck sleep that goddamn deep? I'm asleep now. We're safe because we're in Buckhead and no one can get here, goddammit. No one can get here. Black folk, we hear every fucking sound at night because it me might mean a motherfucker breaking in your goddamn house. What the fuck was that? Earl, is that you? You got five minutes to identify yourself. I'm getting ready to start popping caps in this motherfucker. I don't, don't play with me like that. All this shit going on. And these kids don't appreciate shit. That's what killed me. They don't appreciate shit. Don't ever learn. In the when they can't learn, the school system say, oh, they have a learning disability, ADD or dyslexia. We was growing up, you couldn't learn. You were just stupid. Remember that shit? They'll tell your mama at the PTA meeting. What's wrong with my son? Your son dumb in the motherfucker, Miss Higley. We don't even know why he keep coming. And I knew I was stupid because I went to the little school in the back of the real school. Had the chain link fence around it. Go at 10, get out of 12. All the students had a big head and little legs. You motherfuckers is retarded in here. That's the difference. White folk got a child that's kind of slow. They send them to a special school. Black folk won't even admit their child got no problem. <laughs> get your crazy ass in this house. Ain't shit wrong with that boy. He always wear a football helmet and cowboy boots. You know the motherfucker crazy, 35 years old with Spider-Man underwear on. Standing in the screen though eating graham crackers. Oh. You know something wrong with that. Some of us got kids like that. Don't act like it's just me. Fuck you. Anybody got a little boy who you pretty sure is something wrong with? But you don't get them tested because you don't want that little square bus putting up in front of your goddamn house? I got a little son, don't know shit. What happened? I don't know what happened. What are you, stupid or something? I guess I am. I don't know what happened. And now he's playing the flute at school. The flute is the gayest goddamn instrument ever. The, the flute is the soundtrack for an ass whooping, not the fucking flute is. I'm not getting dressed to see you play no goddamn flute. I got three kids, been married for 17 years. And you know what the fucked up thing about it is? that my wife want to have some more kids, and I don't, because I just started liking these motherfuckers, you understand? And I only like them because they mine, and I know because I got them tested. Fuck that shit. Come on down to the doctor, make sure your mama been telling the truth all this time. Where we going, daddy? Don't call me that till the results come back. Shit. What should we call you? Call me the man fucking your mama to get in the goddamn car. Come on, that shit. I can't adopt no kids. I respect people that do. You got a lot of extra love. I don't. I fuck around and tell a little adopted child the truth. Do you love me? Man, I don't even know you, goddammit. Go get something to eat, number four. Go get something to eat. That's shit. Because kids is expensive to raise, and I see people on cable TV talking about you can feed a child for 51 cents a day. Where the fuck them kids at? Shit. I take three, four dozen of them little motherfuckers. I don't... 
kids got their own fucking room. I'm 38 years old, I still ain't got my own goddamn room. My wife in my fucking room all the goddamn time. Why don't, why don't you go down the hallway or some shit like that? Shit. It's <laughs> kids get clothes the right size, grow out of them. We was growing up, you didn't grow out of shit. But they bought you clothes that was too big to grow out of. Three years old with them goddamn grown man jeans on. Remember that? They don't fit, so they got to cuff them up 74 times. You grow a little bit, they uncuff them. Then you got them fucking white lines down your leg. And everybody can tell how old your ass is. <laughs> you 15, huh? Ain't you 15? What the fuck you know I was 15? Got one pair of pajamas supposed to last you your whole fucking life. You was little to have the feet, and you go out the feet, your mama just cut the fucking feet off. The more you grow, the more she cut. You 12 years old, pajama biker shorts on. By the time you're 18, got shit on by the G-string and the tube top. That's some bullshit. I remember when you couldn't even walk into the room and grown folk was talking. Remember that? They'd tell your ass quick, shut your ass up. It's grown folk in here talking. I just want to let you grown folk know the house on fire. Hope y'all talking about how to drop and roll. This motherfucker going down. I'm going to be in the front yard not saying a goddamn thing to the fire department. What happened, little boy? I can't talk to you. You grown. Smell the soul. Smoke. Somebody getting fucked up in there. That's... Now, they wouldn't let your ass talk when they was in there talking, but 3 o'clock in the morning, they'd wake your little ass up, huh? Come on in the kitchen, show mama how y'all kids do the robot, huh? I gotta go to school tomorrow. You ain't gotta go to the tea in the dance, huh? Kids don't get their ass whipped like we used to. Remember your mom would call home, I'm beating your ass. Soon as I get home, you go home and start cleaning the whole house up. She don't get home till 6 o'clock, your whole day fucked up. You, you can't even play. Catch that ball, fuck that ball, man. I'm going to die at 6 o'clock. You go home try to go to bed early. Oh, it's 5.45. I always get sleepy at 5.45. I'm so sleepy. And kids these days go to the doctor for everything. We was growing up, you could break your neck, you wasn't going to the doctor. Your mother get mad, you done broke your goddamn neck, huh? Lay down and take a nap. I know it hurt a hard head, make a soft ass. Now lay your broke neck ass down. I remember I was eight years old, I told my father I couldn't sleep. This motherfucker gave me one of his high blood pressure pills. For three days, I'm drifting off into a goddamn coma. Uh -huh. These too strong, daddy. I didn't want to sleep forever. You trying to kill a motherfucker in here. Who the fuck is you, Dr. Kevorkian or some shit? And you know it get fucked up, because as soon as I got a TV show, my father quit his fucking job. I called him at work. I said, Daddy, I got a TV show. Well, that's it for me. Fuck this bullshit. Y'all done got your last sweep out of old Charlie. This motherfucker called me last week talking about, man, the doctor said it's going to be $100,000 to save my leg. <laughs> motherfucker, you done walked enough. Fuck that shit. Walking is overrated. Fuck you. Shit. You done had two legs for 70 years. You can hop for the last 10 on one. Fuck that. Shit, I can, <laughs> I can get you with a wheelchair with a kid on it for two grand. Fuck that. I'm not doing shit. White folk do shit I don't understand, though. They do. White folk don't know when to leave a fucking building. Some in black folk, we can just tell when somebody crazy, can't we? Look at this motherfucker right here. I'm going to stand next to the time clock. Fuck this shit. He shoot this place up, I'm going to be in the parking lot on time and a half. White folk will walk up to a motherfucker who got a shotgun. What are you doing in here with that shotgun? This is the... Black folk be outside. Quench my car! Oh, Lord, they done killed the supervisor. I'm going to apply for the position tomorrow. Fuck that shit, he. He ain't coming back. White folk will talk shit to the police, won't they? You ever see them do that shit? Hurry up and write the goddamn ticket, you son of a bitch. Fucking pig. Give me your badge number. Oh, that shit don't work for black folk, do it? Hey, give me your badge number. Oh. I don't want it anymore. I'll never watch the practice again. 
You ever had the police behind you so long you get suspicious of your goddamn self? Yeah. Well, maybe I did kill them motherfuckers. I'm going to go ahead on and turn myself in. They always be in places they ain't supposed to be over in Pakistan getting kidnapped. Black folk don't go nowhere. Fuck that. You ain't seen nobody for Ebony or Jet nowhere in the motherfucker. Fuck that. You can't kidnap black folk or you'll never get no fucking money. You'll just be rehearsing. We have your son. He will not come home unless we get $3 million. Hey, look here. Put him on the phone. I told you about fucking around with them people, didn't I? Didn't I? Down there acting all light-skinned. Now your ass in the twist, ain't you? I ain't, hell, I don't even get paid to the 15th, shit. See if they'll let me put a little something on your ass. I'm gonna put your mama on the phone. I'm sure she wanna say bye. <laughs> now, early and hurry up. That's a long distance call. Now, shit. The boy calling from Pakistan. We should just forget about him and move on. Fuck that. It's places I like to go. I go to Amsterdam a lot, man. You ever been to Amsterdam? You can smoke weed in Amsterdam, and it's legal. I don't, I don't, I, 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 I don't, I don't smoke weed, but I was over there, and, uh, I fucked around and smoked some hash. You don't ever want to do that shit. I was high for 12 hours. I can't think of shit that's fun to do for 12 hours. That, that ain't a high, that's a job. Motherfucker, when are we going on break? This is some bullshit. I, I need a five or something. <laughs> you know you high when you start crying. I don't want to be high anymore. <laughs> Please, Jesus, I want to come down. I, got... I was driving down the street and the street went up into the sky. Oh. I can't go up there. I'll never do this shit again. So the next day when I was doing it again, I put me a seatbelt on. Fuck that shit. <laughs> See, there's a lot of bullshit I'm tired of, like the war on drugs, which is bullshit, because we ain't trying to stop nobody with a boat or a plane from coming over there with that bullshit. But if a brother get caught with a nickel bag, he gonna spend the rest of his fucking life in jail. What, what the fuck are we drug testing everybody for? Drug test doctors and bus drivers, airplane pilots, people with lives in their hand. What the fuck are we drug testing the janitor for? What's the worst he gonna do? Drop the mop? I done dropped the goddamn mop. If you 39 years old and you a janitor, you should get to smoke a joint. Shit. Help you cope with some shit. <laughs> Clean up on our five. I know, I know. Matter of fact, the more fucked up the job you got, the harder the drug you should get to do. Shit. You a grown man working in the drive through at McDonald's, they should let your ass tie off somewhere. Hold on a minute. You gonna get your happy meal, you little fucker. Wait a second, that shit, you gonna make around, make me fuck this shot up. Can you see this vein? You see the vein? Because alcohol is the worst shit going, and they get to do everything. I'm, I know, because I'm an alcoholic. I don't go to them meetings because I ain't anonymous. Fuck that shit. You ever been so fucked up you had a stop sign wait for it to turn green? <laughs> I'm about to run this motherfucker, everybody. Everybody done got to go with me. What type of shit is this? I got shit I need to do, man. But even the way we handle shit is different, man. The weather fucks with us different. Like white folk cannot take the heat. Heat fucks them up. Oh, oh Lord, I'm hot. Aren't you hot? I am sweltering. Aren't you sweltering? Motherfucker, I don't even know what that means. I was just hot than a motherfucker. Black folk used to the heat because we grew up with no air conditioning. Remember that? Mama's going to be hot today. We're running there and close them drapes. Why? So the heat don't think nobody home? You're hot because you're moving around. Now sit still. What kind of fucking plan is that? Oh, but black folk can't handle the cold. Cold fuck us up, don't it? You ever smile in the cold, split your lip right down the middle? You're home. Oh, motherfucker. Now I need some stitches. Ain't this a bitch? You can never put enough lotion on your hands when it get real cold. Hands be ashy in the motherfucker. <laughs> Everybody think you wearing white Usher gloves. Go ahead, sit right there, my man. You... It can be too cold for black folk to go to work sometime, can't it? Get up in the morning, touch that window. Oh, fuck that shit. Eh? They'll see me in the spring. This some bullshit. I can't. Even the animals we pick are different. Like white folk pick them little ass dogs. Ever? <laughs> What's that? That's my dog. Black folk pick Rottweilers, pit bulls, German shepherds, some shit with teeth. Cause we live in some rough ass neighborhoods and we need a motherfucker to keep people out our backyard. Fuck that shit. Somebody get back here, you tear his ass up till I can get my shit. If you don't, I'm saving one bullet for your ass. You understand? You understand? <laughs> 
You ever seen a homeless dude with a dog? Ain't that the most pathetic shit ever? No, the dog, man, the motherfucker. I could have done this shit all by my goddamn self. This is the longest walk in the fucking world. I wish I could talk for five minutes so I can tell you you ain't shit. White folk will put their dogs in the house when it get cold. They will. It's going to be really cold. Remember to put your pets in the house. Black folk don't give a fuck how cold it get. We wake up the next morning. You made it, huh, King? Ooh, I was worried about your ass. Well, it's too cold to get up and check on you. They do. White folk got this shit on TV called the Crocodile Hunter. You ever seen this motherfucker? Be fucking with the most dangerous snakes in the world. This is the Black Mamba. One bite and I'm a goner. White folk watch them shows because they like all them pretty animals. Black folk watch them shows because we know one of them days them snakes going to get hold of his ass. And we want to have that shit on tape. Look at this motherfucker right there. He, he ain't coming to work tomorrow. I'm going to apply for the job. Fuck that shit. You ever notice that shit, man? Black folk are never shocked by violence. White folk are always shocked. I can't believe it. Because when you've been black in America, can't shit shock you. I ain't bullshitting. A spaceship could land in this motherfucker right now. White folk will run out. Black folk, I knew it. I knew it. Because my knee was hurting. And my knee always hurt when some bullshit about to happen. Matter of fact, what's the day? The 26th. I'm going to play that number. Fuck this shit. Atlanta got, y'all got the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my whole fucking life. I ain't bullshit. The problem with beautiful women is they think all they got to do is be a beautiful fucking woman. They think that's their fucking job. That's all they got to do. What do you do? Uh, look at me. And pretty women can't cook with a goddamn, can't make shit but reservations. Hey, girl, I'm hungry. Where you want to eat at? In the fucking kitchen. That's where I want to eat. See that box with the fire coming out? That's a stove. Because I might not want to fuck every day. I'm going to want to eat every goddamn day. Hey, girl, I'm hungry. You want to make love? No, make some fucking gravy. How about that? Shit. Pretty women get away with murder, man. A pretty woman could start crying in this motherfucker right now. Dudes will run up. Hey, baby, you all right? I sure hate to see a pretty girl like you crying. An ugly woman catch hell. <laughs> get the fuck away from my car. Now, shit. You scaring the armor all off my ribs. Get the fuck away from my goddamn car. We put up with a lot of bullshit from women. I'm going to tell you why. Because pussy feels just that good, goddammit. That's exactly why. Pussy so good that you put it on the stock market. Because that's one stock that will never be down. The recession will be over tomorrow. <laughs> How's your Enron down? How's your pussy up like a motherfucker? I should have got some of this shit years ago. Women know how good pussy is because you got to make a deal to get it. I want you to take me out and pay my bills and buy me a car and I'll give you some pussy. All right. What's in it for you? Pussy win all the arguments. I've been married for 17 years. I'm going to tell you something I know. You ever talk to you ain't talk to your old lady two, three days because you determined you ain't going to talk first because you wasn't wrong and fucking she going to apologize for you said a goddamn thing. But she get out that shower naked and your whole fucking plan go out the goddamn window. Hey, look here, baby girl. I know I said some shit that I didn't mean. And you, you said some shit, too. You said some shit, too. Come on, now. Tighten me up. Don't be like that. Tighten me up. Come up off that thing, now. The best pussy you ever get is before you get married because they auditioning for the job. That's why. You know how you go to that job interview. You promise you're going to do all that bullshit. You get that job. You don't do none of that fucking shit. Women get a ring on their finger, get dick amnesia. Don't they, women? You need to take a shower or something, shit. To get head from your wife, you got to pull a gun on a motherfucker now. Now they only want to do it on special occasions. Well, it's your birthday. I guess you want me to suck your dick, don't you? Shit, I hate when this time of year roll around, I swear to God. Let me see your birth certificate. Let me see, let me see. You got me twice last year. Don't nobody have no two goddamn birthdays. Fuck that shit. We ain't using that Chinese calendar this time. Fuck that shit. It's fucked up for men because the same shit we had to do to get you is the same shit we got to do to keep you. And women take forever to come. I'm almost there. Girl, hurry up. My jaw hurt, goddammit. Come on, shit. The Sopranos get ready to come on. Now, shit. I done ate so much of this shit, I got a wig in my stomach. Stop bullshitting.
Because there's two kind of men in the world, the kind that like to eat pussy and the kind that lie about liking to eat pussy. Me, I like it. I show up on a date with a napkin on my neck. You hungry? I know I'm hungry. This ain't no beard. This all that's left of the last woman I was fucking with. Fuck that shit. I... It ain't no use arguing with no woman because even if you right, you wrong. Women don't fucking fight fair. They go back in time and pull up some unrelated bullshit that don't got a goddamn thing to do with what the fuck you arguing about today. You can argue about some shit that happened right now. Baby, did you change the oil? No, I didn't change the oil. Well, honey, if you don't change the oil, the car gonna blow up. You tell that bitch in 1988 she had to change the oil? <laughs> you right, I'm sorry. I don't know what the fuck I said. Because that's her goddamn house. You can live there as long as y'all together. Fuck around, break up. Your kids won't even let you in the goddamn house no more. <laughs> let me in. Mama said we can't let you in. She got a straining order on you. You supposed to be a thousand feet away. There go our new daddy. Hey, new daddy. That shit ain't never funny to me. Fuck you, DL. That ain't funny. Fuck you. Women don't fight fair. They break up different than us. They stay friends with your mama when they break up. Ain't that a bitch? You come home now on the phone with your mama talking about how you ain't shit, and your mama be agreeing with her. <laughs> His daddy wasn't shit either. Eh? He come from a long line of trifling motherfuckers. My mom and daddy been married 38 years. They don't love each other no more. They just ain't got enough money to break up. You ever seen a couple like that just can't stand each other, sitting around hoping each other get a terminal illness? <coughs> Lord, I hope that's cancer. I'm so sick of you. Shit, I'm sick of you. And broken hearts fuck us up. Women, y'all handle them different enough. Broken heart. You ever seen a motherfucker? 30 pounds lighter, he done broke up. Man, you, uh, you working out? No, I'm on that separation diet. Well, I gotta get this motherfucker back. I gotta get it back. Girl, I know you fucked my cousin, but you promise not to do it again. We can work it out. We do simple shit when we get our heart broken. You sit, you turn into a stock at 3 o'clock in the morning, you in the bushes outside the house. Don't like it, act like it's just me. Fuck y'all. She walk out, you pop out like ain't shit wrong, ain't she? Look, can I holler at you for a minute? Why you calling the police? You ain't got to call the goddamn police. We got kids together, goddammit. Get in the car, I just wanted to talk to you for a little while. I'm gonna put the gun down, just get in the car. Girl, ain't nobody gonna shoot you again. Women love a man that can make them laugh, you can make a woman laugh, you can have any woman you want, believe me when I tell you, you can. Brothers be mean, they be mean sometimes. Cook me some breakfast, bitch. You never make me laugh anymore. Well, cook me some breakfast, bitch, ha ha. Y'all been great, Atlanta. Showing up, thank y'all for coming out, appreciate it. Oh,